all over the place. Part dos. So, what happened? Oh, yeah. So, um, Miss Lulu and Miss Candy then got Jiggly Caliente. You know, I know her from Wu Poor Drag Place. That's the little chubby one that was the chubby Asian that was working in the store. And um, Miss Aphrodite, the real, real one, the one that told Electra to go get a pussy. Um, they are at the house of Victoriaista, whatever the fuck they, <laughs> they name is. And Miss Pray Tell has a date. Blanca met this bartender at the ball, Keenan, that was all up in Pray Tell's face while he was up on rocking the mic. So she, um, Blanca gave um, Keenan, um, no. Keenan gave Blanca the numbers to get to Pray Tell. And they go to the restaurant, the same restaurant Miss Electra Abundance works in. And she seems like she takes pride in making her money. She looks good. So, you know, Keenan, they're talking, going back and forth and, you know, flirting back and forth. And Keenan's trying to get a little bit more physical. And, you know, Pray Tell is not really feeling it. You know, he has, um, he's positive. And um, Pray Tell tells him that he's positive. And he's like, you know, I'm glad you told me. But you think you're the only po- um, positive man I've dated and stuff like that. And, you know, after he said that, Pray Tell was all wet between the legs. I mean, basement flooded. And I feel you. He a little brown thing. He a little brown little thing. But, yeah, so, you know, everything's cool. They had a little, they had a little awkward kiss at the... <laughs> at the booth or whatever and while they're kissing they stop because Miss Electra is telling some white people you don't got a fucking reservation you can't come in I'm like yeah she gonna get a raise she gonna be manager of that damn restaurant the way she is she is perfect for that snooty pooty place what else is going on um what's up then um Angel, um, Blanca decides to tell Angel that she's positive and she said when she's dead and gone, you're going to have to raise these kids and run this house, which I'm confused about for the simple fact that, um, they're not that much age difference, like what, Damon's like 18, 19 and Blanca's what, 25, 24, but I understand, I, you know, she has lived, she has so lived, um, so what else is going on? Okay, so the um the ball has come, the mother of the year, and of course we already knew Blanca was gonna win that one, but Candy and Lulu, they don't know what it is to be mothers because they were raised by fucking Electra, and Electra Electra is a straight bitch, and you know Electra came in there with her golden lame wings showed the pads flying up in there and she was reading that's one thing i can't say next to pray tell fucking electra knows how to insult these bitches and read these bitches and she was going in on every last one of them especially at the um miss candy had the nerve to talk about um blanca again talking about her you know her stubble and you know i guess that she's still kind of on the manly side and stuff and it just it's so sad, and she was over there crying, and the lecture was like, what the fuck are you crying for? You from the Bronx, go slap all these hoes. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. <laughs> but no, after that, Electra read them down, read them all down, and they were just looking all stupid. And the two boys that was part of um the House of Abundance is coming to Evangelista. And young Poppy is tired of being the errand boy, so he's going to Evangelista, which we already knew that was going to happen. This episode was kind of a little bit predictable, but it was cool. I enjoyed, I enjoyed it. Like I said, it was lackluster, but I don't give a fuck because I know it's coming for season two. It's coming back for season two, so I ain't worried about it. And I hope FX, like I said before, we get like 12, 13 episodes, not no damn 10 episodes because this was only eight. Don't give me two more. Give me four more. Like, come on. Um, Sam decides he want to stroll his little white ass, square ass to the ball. And of course, um, by coincidence, Miss Angel's outside and Miss Angel's like, I'm not here for it either. I don't got time for it. I don't need you. We don't need you. We know we just fantasies to each other and that's it. Because she's really, she was really hurt. 
So hopefully she stick by it, but I don't think she is because I think she really loved him for some, yeah, not for some reason because he loved her too. It was, it was outside of something he's never did before and he wants to be out in the open with each other, but she's not here for it. And I don't blame her. I do not blame her, but it was an okay episode. It was all right. It wasn't as sad as the other episode. Maybe that would have been a good season finale, but it was good. I'm fine with it. I can deal with it. It came to a close. We should have got my girl Janet Mock to write this last episode because I looked to see who was writing the credits. I always like to look, and I didn't see her name. So maybe next time we go with the Jan Janet Mock to do the season now to close the close the house down. That's all I'm saying. But everything's good. Everybody's living a life. You know, Blanca got the highest thing, the the highest honor, mother of the year. Damon's going back to school. Ricky's going to go on tour. Angel is going to be back at the peep show instead of at the peers. Um, Electra's going to be hosting. I'm sure Mr. Ford might walk in there one day with his new bitch. That'll be interesting. Um, but everything seems okay. No sob stories. Maybe Poppy can do something else with himself instead of selling drugs. He could be in the B boy, you know, segment of the show. And that's it. This was a it was a pretty okay episode. I will want more bang, but it's all right. We can wait for that next season. I can wait. I can wait next year. I ain't got nothing to do next year, um, twenty nineteen. So yes, I'm here for it. Tell me what you think. Let's talk about it. The season finale of Pose.